A thousand years ago, this is how much of China must have looked. It was an idyllic time when Tang Dynasty poets spent languid days crafting verse. Intellectuals sipped tea and discussed the affairs of state, while in the forests high above Chengdu, wild pandas roamed the scrub in search of bamboo, their favorite food. Then came progress. Yewai Li Guan Han's life has been dedicated to the goal of increasing the panda population in the face of China's rapid urbanization. With his help, the Chengdu city government established a 26 hectare breeding center which simulates the panda's natural habitat. For even the most cynical amongst us, it's hard to resist a panda. <laughs> Last year's litter is now eight months old, and the playful cubs are on their way to becoming healthy adults. Though the pandas seem to be thriving and the tourists delighted, it's not as picture-perfect as it seems. These cubs were produced by artificial insemination because adult pandas are becoming more sedentary and less interested in sex. This Meet Mei Mei, a five-year-old female who's been drugged and is about to undergo a very public and possibly degrading insemination. Director Lee supervises the delicate procedure, something he's done dozens of times before. In captivity, this is what it takes to make a panda. When the procedure's over, Mei Mei is left to sleep off the drugs. For 13 frustrating years, researchers here have been investigating how to encourage pandas to mate. As China's top protected species, ensuring their survival has gone beyond a national goal. The state has reached beyond these borders, seeking millions of dollars to protect pandas, both in the wild and in captivity. But to date, victory has largely belonged to science and not to nature. Now researchers are looking at other, more desperate means. What about Viagra? Do you think that could work? This 
作用的，它只是提高性用，维持它性交的时间，让高潮的时间。Some researchers claim that the lethargy induced by captivity has put the panda's focus on food and sleep rather than sex. To encourage them, one research base suggests showing pandas P-rated video like this. But Director Lee is more than a little skeptical. If naughty videos won't do the trick, researchers may have to go back to the laboratory. It's time to check in on Mei Mei, who's still in a drug-induced panda paradise. Local visitors are perplexed that she's so deep in sleep, so I give them an update on her situation. Though it's not the preferred way to keep a species going, it's certainly better than extinction. And Mei Mei, I'm happy to report, is pregnant and expecting a cub any time after August.